Sierra Nevada is done and dusted and we are now in Mallorca. First rest day with Jon and Cedric. Mallorca is probably the most beautiful place in Europe to go cycling. So that will make for one very nice month of cycling here before we go home for Christmas. A lot of you guys have been wondering how much the altitude camp in Sierra Nevada ended up costing. So in this video I'm gonna break it all down for you. So let's dive into it. We were five guys sharing all the expenses on the camp and was all put into a settlement where we got a full overview of who owed who what. From the settlement and also my own personal costs, I have calculated an approximate cost of the whole altitude camp, which I will present for you now. All the prices will be stated in euros and where the Norwegian crown is used, I will use an exchange rate of 12. First up is the most essential thing, the apartment. As you all know, we booked an apartment through Airbnb instead of staying in the altitude center in Sierra Nevada. Most of the reason for that are the prices because staying at the altitude center in Sierra Nevada can be as expensive as 100 euros per night per person. The apartment, however, only cost us 2,200 euros for a whole month. And for me, that translated into 449 euros for my 30 days up at altitude. There is, however, some disadvantages to not staying in the altitude center. And that is you have to pay a fairly high price for training at the center if you want to do that. Once in a while, I used the strength facilities at the center, which ended up costing me 16 euros a day. In total for seven sessions that was 112 euros. The prices for breakfast and dinner at the center however was not too bad, the breakfast being 4 euros and the dinner being 12. We ate breakfast at the center every day because it was really nice and also we had dinner five times a week and when summarized that amounted to 356 euros. The rest of our meals we made in the apartment which actually had a pretty nice kitchen but in order to make meals you have to have groceries and in total for the whole group we paid 1253 euros of that my share was 271 euros the closest decent grocery store was all the way down in granada which is 30 kilometers away from the center and therefore a rental car was also essential we stayed in Sierra Nevada during low season and therefore basically everything was closed. So we rented a nice Jeep Renegade, which is not the cheapest car. However, it has a nice amount of space in it. The total cost of the rental car was 1,179 euros and my share was 247 euros. The car of course also required some fuel which I have accounted for. That turned out to be 49 euros for me only. Getting to Spain we managed to get a couple of nicely priced plane tickets. The prices for the plane tickets over to Mallorca again weren't too expensive either. The entire round trip costed me 192 euros including all the luggage. Of course plane tickets is an expense that will vary greatly in price based on when you travel but also where you travel from. And ideally we would travel to Granada airport because it's closer to Sierra Nevada and it would save us some money on the taxi but we didn't manage to find any suitable plane tickets unfortunately. A taxi from Malaga airport to Sierra Nevada therefore ended up quite expensive with 230 euros per way. However, we were multiple guys sharing the taxi and for the round trip it ended up costing me 208 euros. So there we have it. All things summarized, my 30 days up in Sierra Nevada ended up with a grand total of 1000 884 euros including all transport and that's quite okay if you ask me considering it's a whole month in Spain we're talking about. Was it worth it in terms of performance gain? Well time will show I guess but we had a really nice camp and got some really nice experience on the way as well. 
And that's basically it. I hope you guys found this video interesting and useful. If you did, please leave a like and also comment down below if you have any questions and I will answer them as soon as I can. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!